if Mike was ever to go and flirt with a woman, what I would do is I would go with another man because I'm not going to take from any man, preferably Keith Lemon because I think he's very attractive. Hi Fabulous, my name's Nikia. My name's Mike, pleased to meet you. And today we're going to be opening up about our age gap, sex. And whether or not our kids are going to live a traditional traveller's life or a normal set of life. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Oh. <laughs> uh, me and Mike do discuss sex openly as a couple. We're not ashamed of it. Everyone has it, everyone does it. Answer this truthfully, do we have sex every day? Not every day. Do we have sex six days a week? No, I'd say it's a very even part. Sometimes we can be a little bit of a trout, but I'd say on average every couple of days. These are the travel rules, right? You don't talk about sex at all. Never. If, do it. if a song comes on the radio that yeah. talks about sex, you're on the radio turning that over. You turn that... This is the truth, I'm telling you, honestly, True. this is the truth. I literally had an argument with a travelling girl over it on Facebook once, and she was like, you shouldn't talk about sex. And I was like, listen, don't come at me like your mother Teresa. Your husband's having sex with you every night. You've got kids to prove it. No one likes stands unless it's a big secret mission. It does happen, but it doesn't get broadcasted. Travel lads that want to go off, have a, a bit of frisk, they're going to go with a normal gorgeous girl. They're not going to go with a traveling girl. That's why they label travel like normal gorgeous girls as being, you know, I wouldn't want to marry her because that's the deal. Women definitely have to wait till marriage in the traveling community. Men don't. They think if they, again, with the, you know, the whole Basically, women thing. have to be clean and decent. Men can go and do and they want and that's just the situation and women have to handle that if the lad he's got a girlfriend he shouldn't be going with, yeah, but he with does. girls he but will. you know nine out of ten times the travel he lad will. who's got a girlfriend will still go off on a night time and still go with girls travelers like to get it get freaky deaky the same as everyone else they're like Mate, you know, everyone's a human we ain't like, no married why do you think they want to get married so quick yeah me and michael didn't wait until uh, we got married i'm not gonna lie but that doesn't make me a bad person we couldn't wait a travelling woman does have to please her man in the trailer, cleaning, cooking, the whole shebang, and I think in the bedroom. The in the very beginning, he was very like, I I make the money, I, I provide everything, I provide the trailer and that, you should make me happy. But I was like, listen, ain't happening. I want to start making money and we're going to be in a 50-50 situation. Again, so no, I don't agree with it. Adopt into other people's cultures. If the man is unhappy, at home, and he's not getting catered to, kids up like a, like a big kid, basically. No way. If that doesn't happen, he doesn't go, you know, skipping off to work in a happy, you know, whistly kind of way. He goes out grumpy, he doesn't come back with as much money. So for a productive traveling household, everything has to be gone smooth. The man has to be, you know, getting trekked like, like a king. I feel like women are very, very catering to their men in the traveling community. And the and reward should be Harrods on the weekend. And that's not something I'm into. If a traveling fellow asks a girl, will you go out with me? She'll say no, even if she wants to. Now, that's just going out with each other. So then that'll go on for like twice, three times. Then she'll say, I'll think about it. Then he'll drive through and see her, ask her again. And she'll say, well, yes, I'll go out with you. So then they're allowed to kiss and hold hands. That's it during the courting period. Now, after the courting period, he'll go back and he'll say to their mother and father, he'll say, look, I want to go out with your daughter. He'll say in a really nice way. Uh, we can go out for a while and I want to ask for her. So once she's been asked for, then they're like rabbits, no, not all. <laughs> then they'll start going off together, right? For a little while, then they'll plan a wedding. All right, it's the face. Then they'll plan a wedding together. Then they get married. This normally takes the course of a year to two years, however long it takes. He'll buy a trailer pull it to the mother and father's yard. I know it sounds Wah. So once the trailer's pulled to mother and father's yard, before the wedding, they'll, she, their, her family will pack it all for like bedding, clothes, what her clothes, um, cutlery, dishes, everything. So once that's done, then they'll have the wedding, go on honeymoon, come back, move into the trailer. Sounds like and work, then it? after the honeymoon, it's time to get a freak on the honeymoon. And that's how it works with travelers. In the gypsy way, buy a very heavy rock, wrap it in a silk scarf, throw it through the window, then Jesus. go through the back door, That's grab the woman, run off, scream down the street, I've stolen your dog. No, I just went off of her for the weekend, to tell you the truth, and just hope for the best. 
Um, never asked anybody if I'd go out with her. I didn't really think there'd be anybody to ask. Because I'm a G. And your mum was cool when yeah. I met her. I, I, I took her. Uh, I'm a grand we, woman. We went off for a meal and I asked her mum to come with us and met her, introduced myself. And that was it, really, me and I were seeing each other. So, there are no rules in the traveling community about dating somebody the same age as you at all. Um, generally, if a man is, say, 25, he'll normally date a woman between the ages of around 18 to 21. Reason being, you know, and I don't want to sound sexist at all, but um, lower mileage. I mean, if she's had 50 boyfriends, she does, I know that might upset some people. What do you mean, lower mileage? Well, if a girl oh, has mate, a... do you know what the situation that travellers think... Travellers fellas they... ain't going to want to divorce you and they don't want to go out with a girl that's having a thing, boyfriend. But the thing... I'm going to say something that's going to shock a lot of people. I'll tell you this. They're probably better off with a girl that's been divorced and... Or maybe a girl that's had loads of boyfriends. You know why? why? Because she's got it out of her system. Well, she's never had a boyfriend before and the guy's been married, divorced, he's 40 year old. People are going to look at it like, well, hang on. It's like, a bit much. That's a bit much. She's having, he's, he's a bit of a liberty. She's like a bit of a, you know, innocent minded kind of person. Ah, uh, all right. Well, she has been married before. Well, then it's no big deal. All bets are off. She's been married before. And actually, travellers will see that. And I don't mean to horrible, but they'll see that as well. You know, who cares? She's been married before. You know, she's used goods. She, she can just get anybody now, which is horrible how that, they think like that. But that's somehow the way it is. Our age gap is 16 years, I believe. Yeah, we've got a big age gap. There's 16 years between yes. us. 16 years, and that's the way I love it. Whatever problem it could ever cause in our relationship, I don't know, arguments. The reason why we don't let it affect us is because, unfortunately, we are in love with each other. And this is the only time it does cause any problems is with films and music, because I'm sorry, but... Likes a bit of Elvis, don't he? I like old fashioned music. I like music. a bit of she Cardi B. Traveling men are encouraged to flirt with people, especially like clients and say, uh, traveling fellas working for a, a, um, a person, it's a woman, he will have a chat to her and he'll be very charming. Me personally, I would never be allowed to flirt with And it's not that I wouldn't be allowed, out of respect for Nikita, I wouldn't want to flirt with a woman because it would give her the wrong impression. If Mike was ever to go and flirt with a woman, what I would do is I would go with another man because I'm not going to take from any man, preferably Keith Lemon because I think he's very attractive. Whoa, I like Keith, I really like Keith. Why Keith oh, Lemon? Because I like Keith Lemon. When I get interest from other men liking videos, sending me messages, things like that, it kind of makes me feel like um, worthless in a way. It makes me feel like they think I'm a when I'm really not. It comes back to the fact that traveling people think they are better than everybody else in you know, she's only a gorger and I can chat to her and I'll take her and I'll do that because they actually, in their own mind, think they can have any woman in the world. Now, we've discussed this before and I've said to her, look, you do realise these travel men actually think they can go with Beyonce. Yeah. They could message Beyonce and Beyonce will reply. Mm. That's exactly what they've got in their mind because they've been bred with that confidence. Myself as well, travellers have been bred with the confidence in us. How does it make you feel though when they message me? I hate it. Like, who does he think he is that he can message my wife? Yeah. You have to be married before you have kids in the gypsy community. It's just a very old fashioned way of going on. Yeah. And that's how we are. Is there get. like a limit or like an amount of kids you can have in the traveling community? Nah. Just I mean, do whatever you want. Uh, look at Tyson, there you go. Or you can have one if you want. There's Tyson nothing to and be Paris sh have got loads They're of like, kids. You can have as many as you want, like one or seven. There's nothing frowned upon. No, no bigger family, the better. And actually, if a man can, you know, have a great big family, he's actually thought of as, you know, a pretty good, you know, a good man having a great big family and a woman too. When me and Michael have children, I want to have a very big family. Like, I want to start maybe having children within the next year and then maybe keep going until I'm 35. I want a big family. Do you want a big family with me, babe? Yeah, of course I do. I want anything more. I want Michael to be there so I can punch him while I'm giving birth. He needs to be there. If he's not there, I'll be... And um, I'll hold the baby in just until he comes. When the woman's in labour, when she goes into the room, it's up to the man if he wants to go in there or not, or way outside. Um, or the mother goes in and the man waits yeah. outside. Me personally, I'd like to go into the room, hold hands. Yeah, I'd want that. My children won't be cleaning at home, they'll be out studying, doing things like that. Uh, they won't be guided to get married at 16 and have kids at 16. They'll be guided to live a single life and get married at appropriate age and have kids at appropriate age. And boxing. I do want my sons to learn. I don't want my son boxing. I really do. But um, we'll see. I think it's a discipline that, you know, it's really good. I think it's a waste if travelling girls are all they've learned how to do is clean. I really do. 
like all they've learned and all they've been taught how to do is clean. Yeah. I mean, how, that's a lot of an empty life you're gonna aim for. Why aim for just cleaning? I want my I want my children to feel the high of making their own money and doing their own thing in life. It's such a why nice not, high. Why not send your daughter to business school and learn how to build a website and, and yeah. start our own business? Watch, we have children that like, probably wanna be like, stay at home. Thank you for joining us for the second of six episodes. And I give you my word, it's going to get juicier each week. Definitely. Next week, we're going to be talking about our wedding, the dress, the event, the traditions, and how much it all cost. And we would really like to hear any of your feedback, so please Definitely. drop it in the comments box below. And don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and to subscribe to the fabulous YouTube page.